Hello everybody, welcome to our tutorial here on NoiseJunkies.net. In this tutorial, we'll take a look at the vector integration with Cinema 4D, Illustrator and Photoshop. Now, if you heard the name Illustrator and just close your, your capture or just close this tutorial, don't worry, you can keep going because you really only need Photoshop for this effect. So, let's just get right away because it's very simple, very few steps, but a lot of people get confused. So, it's important. First thing, uh, I'm in a free vector website called vectz.com. I don't really use a lot of vectors and I suck at Illustrator. So I'm not going to draw my own, but instead I'm going to get uh, this vector gun pack in here. Download file, it's a free vector site just for demonstrational purposes. So in Illustrator, I am going to be opening that file. So once I open the file, here I have all the guns that the gun vector pack contains. An illustrator, let's just select the one we like the most. That's an interesting choice. Let's see which one. Process of elimination. No. Nah. Uh, it looks like a helicopter. Or whatever. Okay, this one's my favorite. So now we're going to scale it up. It's a vector, so that it really doesn't matter. But we're just going to make it big, because big is good. So, we go to File, and now I want to Save As. Now, the original uh, file of Illustrator is .ai, right? So this gun is a .ai. So we just want to, f you know, save as a .ai. Gun uh, tutorial. And go to desktop. We'll save it. And here we have a lot of things like PDF compatible. I'll just click OK. And now we're gonna open Photoshop CS5. Now. You just saw it, right? Illustrator is really just to make a single file. But you could do that in Photoshop. You know, you could just get all the guns and erase them manually here in Photoshop. So you don't really need Illustrator, but I just think it's cool to do it in Illustrator. Let's get a little bit off the edge in here. So I'm going to scale this just a little bit down. That's okay, because it's a vector, you can scale it up or down. One million times, you'll still have the quality. Great. And now it's a tricky part. Uh, we need to select... Uh, a lot of people just import uh, that AI into Cinema 4D, but really this is an image. We need to make into a path. Now, this is kind of easy because it's all black, so you can just click on the selection tool and you have all the guns selected. So once you do so, come here on the paths, and make it a work path. So tolerance 1.0, okay, so here I have the work path. Now, just for demonstration of purposes, I'm gonna get some sort of flower. Let's see, okay. And this flower is not easy uh, to do with the selection tool. Another tip, another way you can do, is just create a mask into that, and now hold command and click. So that way you select everything. Know, just so you guys know if you have a more complicated vector you choose. Alright, tolerance one, good, file, and instead of saving as, we'll export into Cinema 4D, path to Illustrator. If you have more than one path, which is not our case, but we'll go to work path, okay, gun, tutorial, uh, path, save, and now we're finding the Cinema 4D part. So I'm going to file and open and we'll go on the gun tutorial path and here we have our gun. Now it is invisible of course and just like any spine that you add in Cinema 4D like the text you need a NURB to extrude it. So we're gonna go to extrude NURBs and if you drag it you're gonna have it. Now the reason why you have it you know easily in this case and I'm gonna use the flower once more is because you only have one path. Now I'm going to open the flower path which I also made previously. Um, yes, alright. Okay. And here if we add the extrude nerves, it doesn't work. So that might happen to you depending on the vector you choose. The reason why it doesn't work is because you have a lot of spines in here. So you just have to really hold shift and make sure you have all of them selected and then press command, click, connect. And once you connect, it creates this extra path, which is all of them together. And now you can drag into the extrude nerves and make it into an extrude. But going back to our cool gun example, because guns are cool, 
And yeah, you can now just play around with the extrude nerves and create a logo. And the reason why this is so useful is that you don't want to model, you know, some sort of gun logo from scratch in Cinema 4D. It's just not the right option for you. So you just want to really go to an specialized program and do it there. I'm going to create a new material now um, with reflection 20% and that will be our floor and I'm going to create a new material now and make it black like that and also very reflective like 60 and apply to the nerves and I'm just going to create a light in here Very mysterious scene, actually. And you have some sort of gun thing that you can use. And of course, we can also create a sky to make it less dark, the scene, I guess. But yeah, you can definitely play around with the vectors, there's infinite possibilities in here. And that's it. That's how we can transfer vectors to Cinema 4D. I hope you guys have found this useful and switch out.